Hey, good Thursday to you. Hope you're having a, and enjoying this little bit of cooler weather that we're having. It's not up to 115 today, hopefully, right? I was fortunate enough to have parents who taught me the value of hard work. In Proverbs 6, 6 through 11, God's word teaches us about hard work. In this proverb, God gives us a glimpse of what happens if we choose to buy in to idleness. And that means if you choose to be idle, you're going broke. You're going to be in trouble. Some of you may say, I, I don't have anyone to tell me what to do. Well, you know, it's interesting. I grew up where we had ant hills. And I don't know if you have ever experienced or seen what an ant hill looks like. And as a kid, we were kind of foolish. And so we'd go and we'd kick the tops off of the ant hills, hoping that we didn't get into the ants. Here's the most miraculous thing that would happen. The next morning when you go out to play, maybe in the pasture or in the field or in the yard that you were playing in, that you had knocked the tops off of those ant hills, they had been built back. And you know, those ants didn't have anyone giving them direction. They just went to work hard. So God uses them as an example for us. God gives us great works to do. You see, when God formed this world, he prepared great works in advance for each one of us to do. And we get the opportunity of asking him, studying his word, hearing advice from others that shares with us what those good works are, and we get to join God in doing those good works. We can choose to join Team God through Christ Jesus, or we can choose to join Team World. One gives us freedom and satisfaction. That's Team God in the work of our minds and our hands. But Team World, can I just tell you, it leads to bondage and destruction. Used to be an old saying that my dad used to use, don't start anything that you may have to stop. Bad habits, bad work habits, work good, work smarter, not harder necessarily, but there's nothing wrong with working smart hard, right? I can't speak for you, however. I like having a roof over my head, clothes on my back and my body, and more than plenty of food to eat to nourish this body. I didn't get that because I wanted it. I got it because God gave me a body and a mouth and an and a ambition to go and work and to use the body that God gave me. We all have a choice. You can choose to be lazy. You can sit on your couch and do nothing. That'll lead you to destruction. I can promise you. Hard work with all of your strength, God has given you and you'll succeed. You'll succeed in this life and in this world. And that's my hope for you. I don't know about you, I'm going to choose success. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks that you give us a body, that you give us a mind to work. Uh, Father, you have prepared great works in advance for each of us to do. And, and in your word in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 through 11, you remind us what to do and what not to do. And Father, we're so thankful that we have a body that we can work for your kingdom. And all we ask is that your son, Jesus Christ, guide us and stand beside us each day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Psalm 37, 25 says this. I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their children begging for bread. Hey, don't wind up being a beggar. God bless you. Have a great week. See you in worship on the weekend.